Everybody says I'm not enough. And I said, well, what's your definition of enough? And nobody knows. <laughs> is enough people loving who I am is enough? The followers is enough? The bank account is enough? What is it? And a lot of us, what we're doing is we're comparing our life to something that doesn't even exist. You're chasing it enough that doesn't even exist. And you wonder why you don't feel good about yourself. And what happens is you start to change the internal dialogue of who you are. The conversations sound like, I don't belong. I had that conversation when I first got in personal development. Because I didn't look like everybody on these stages. I didn't speak like everybody. And I felt in my soul I didn't belong. When I lost football, which was devastating in my life, I had the conversations of, my life is over. And I know that's true for so many of you. You lose something and then you lose yourself and you have those conversations. Man, is my life over? Do I even matter? Do I belong? Is there room for me? And you speak death into your life, into your soul, into your dreams. And you operate like that. So I want to challenge everybody in here just to do this. And whatever it looks like for you. Every single morning, start speaking life into your life. You got to know your worth. And your worth, again, is not an accomplishment. It's not a next thing. I've hit every level, NFL, speaker, all the titles. And again, if I put my worth in those things, guess what happens to my self-esteem when those things go away? I feel less about myself. Find a permanent worth that doesn't budge, that doesn't change. And I love the cheers, but I'm serious. Like, when y'all leave your application craze transformation, I love the claps, I love the hoorays, but if you don't change anything with your life, you're going to live the same life, but I don't want that for you. So when those things coming back into your life to try to make you feel worthless, whatever it is, statistics, people, things, your past, how do you remind yourself, and this is a you thing, how do you remind yourself that you're worth it? What's the life that you're speaking into your life? What are the things that you're telling yourself? What's the internal validation that's seeming in your soul that you know that I'm worth it? I'm worth everything good coming into my life. I live like this for so long. You ever been, like you ever lived a life where you've been through so much hard times that when good times happen, you use this phrase, this phrase that's saying, man, this is too good to be true. And you're waiting for the bad to happen. You're waiting for the thing to mess up. Whether it be relationships, you're waiting for the little things. Whether it be a business, you're waiting. But what if it is true? Because you deserve it. You deserve your breakthrough. You deserve your next level. You deserve your healing. Stop discrediting yourself and give yourself some damn credit. Hey, what up? I wanted to jump in here real quick and just ask you to subscribe, like, share, comment. I know everybody asked that, but it helps so much to get this video to reach people who have no idea it exists. And you by pressing share can be a hero in their life. I appreciate you. Let's get back to it. I get it. You want to please everybody. You want everybody to like you. You want everybody to love you. And a lot of our self-worth, our self-esteem is based upon if people like us, if people celebrate us, if people champion us, Lord, if people support us, if people, you fill in the blank. And you're living your whole entire life trying to control something you can't control or change. That is a perfect recipe for depression. It's a perfect recipe for anxiety. It's a perfect recipe for stress. It is a perfect recipe for you not loving your life. Pleasing perceptions. It looks like losing yourself to make other people happy. Don't allow mm, people, if you can, to place their impossibilities on your life. 
Because understand this, please understand it. Go ahead, make some noise for sure. Please understand this. You know, every time, and I got to tell you this, like every time I told somebody that I wanted to make it to the NFL, you know the response that I got? That's impossible. It only happens to certain type of people. You can never do those things. And I know we hear that a lot from outside people, right? Outside enemies. I get that. Outside haters, quote unquote. When I wanted to be a speaker, when I realized this was my gift, when I realized this is what God called me to do, when I realized that this was my purpose, in my purpose, and I realized and I told people like, hey, I'm going to go speak. And the response was, I don't know if y'all got friends like this that love you but don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> they give you the halfway support, like, yeah, you can do it, but their energy and body language is saying, no, you can't, right? Find some else. <laughs> so, so I got all these opinions placed in my life, all these perceptions. You got to understand perception. Perception is somebody's experience of life that they're putting out into the world. That's how they see the world. So if you see yourself as less, you're going to operate as less, you're going to do less, you're going to accept less, you're going to settle for less, etc. But when you change your perception and seeing the world as abundance, to see the world as opportunity, seeing the world as progression instead of perfection, you will start to see everything working for you. You will start to see everything is working out for your good. You will start to see even the failure is taking your life to success. You will start to see that all the things happening are happening for you. 